Hi and welcome to another We Get You There video with Northstar. In this video we're going to be showing you how to create a synthetic Kirchhoff pre-stack section. The brains behind the workflow is Tina and Hover and the voice is Rafa. So, the motivation for this video is we are moving one step uh, further in our ray tracing tool uh, by adding Kirchhoff and uh, what Kirchhoff brings is the ability to create synthetic seismograms containing reflections and diffractions and because it's uh, still using ray tracing it allows its higher flexibility in terms of selecting specific parts of the wave field what you need in order to fulfill this workflow is a background model with the green functions a target model or also what we call at NORSAR size rocks model and a survey Below you have a couple of steps on where to click and the output is going to be your synthetic pre-stack seismogram. We encourage you to also check all the videos related with this video. Let's have a look on how it works. So here we have our NORSAR project open. You're going to go to functions, Kirchhoff pre-stack and you're going to click on viewer, Kirchhoff workflow. This window is going to pop up for you and what we're going to do first is go select the workflows tab and let's create a new workflow so you go to that icon and just say youtube test one for example hit ok a new workflow is created for you and we're going to work this workflow top down so let's first select our background model double click on it i have one so the application already selected it for me and it understands that it needs to use the green functions tied to this background model so let's hit ok we're going to do the same for our target model double click on it we have one we select this and this is where you can actually select which surfaces you want this modeling to work on so you can toggle on and off some of the surfaces let's hit ok for the time being that's fine, and isotropy is going to be ignored. And now we're going to select our survey. So double click on the survey, and we are interested in this case in the zero offset. We click on it. It's also possible to select this just a part of a survey. You don't need to work with it all. We hit OK. Selection of a wavelet. Double click on the wavelet. We're going to use Ricker 20 Hertz, and we hit OK again. And now we're going to actually go to the modeling parameters. So double click on the trace, set up. And what's the length of the trace? So if I change this to 3, the application already computes the number of samples. Let's do with 4. That's fine. OK button. Uh, let's display something here. So if I want to display my model, I can go here and say target model. This is going to display an hour 3 depth. 3D depth viewer and remember if you want to go on and off some parts of your model you actually need to move into the object tab so if you go to the object tab and expand the models 3D expand the model that you're working and for example we want to have a look on just the top nest I can select everything and highlight the top nest here we go and we're looking to the property which is VP. All right, let's go back to the workflow. And now we have to select the aperture. We double click on the aperture, and this is similar to migration. This is making a selection of the area to contribute on the summation. We're also going to need the half opening angle, and we're going to apply a taper on this angle and if you need further information about that we recommend you to read our manual and we hit OK again the registration directions it's the next parameter that we're going to work on there you go registration directions in our case this is offshore and, and we're working with the P wave so it's going to be longitudinal but this also allows you to decompose uh, if you want to let's select OK another option is to add noise and if you want to add noise you double click add noise and select the frequencies and the amplitude and so forth 
Once you're happy with the parameters that you have selected, you're going to click on this green arrow, which is the run button. Just to make this video quicker, we're going to show you results of something that we have tested before. So first test, revert, this is going to lo load our results. In order to check the results, I'm going to open a different window. It's going to go to Windows, Workspace, to the viewer, put the window over here and select the result. Let's find which slice I want to show. This is the slice uh, that we have selected. Since we have run this workflow also with some noise, I can click on the noise. I'm sorry, the window is on the back. Let's go to the back, and here you can see the results of our Kirchhoff modeling. Taking into account, you can see the diffractions being highlighted here. Let me remove the noise again, it's going to be easier to see them. Here we go. And if you want to deselect or select, for example, now we're missing the C bottom, you can go back to your target model. So double click on your target model, and you can check the C surface and hit the process and run the process again. Um, this is it. This is what we would like to show you for this video. Uh, please continue to follow us on YouTube and see you next time. Bye.